tonight, first and foremost, with all praise to Yahweh, 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 the one of the apostles of the great millstone that will will. Shall want to all your brothers in the highways and byways, doing the worst sincerely and faithfully, and continually fighting that good fight of faith. Lord willing, we are all found that number to be delivered, and this is why we come out and do what we do in the spirit and power of your Allah Shem Al Shai to, to hopefully be delivered and, and be hopeful, you know, that the Lord have mercy upon us to find us worthy. All right, you know, we got another pre Passover lesson. You know, it's not going to be very long, but we feel, you know, want to get a few words into the masses, and you know, whatever we bring out may be edifying. And uh, you know we're just gonna go through the spirit, and you know Lord willing, you know and your brothers who are you know holding Passover, may the Lord be with you, all right? We don't know when the Lord's coming, but we know He's on His way. And, and being faithful servants to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is what really matters, all right? So anybody got anything you want to start off with? I got something here, brother. Uh, Judges five and eleven. Mm -hmm. uh, they that are delivered from the noises, noise of of archers, in the places. Of John Waters, mm -hmm. uh, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the right. Lord. Right, and this is that place of drawing water. When when a, when a person was set up to draw water, they were set up as servants. They were servants who actually, you know, held the king's cup or fetched water for the king or what have you. All right, so we're still servants in this kingdom, even though we have found out that we're the children of Israel, we still possess no power. But in the turn in turn with that, we're rehearsing the righteous acts as the Lord had commanded us to do, all right? So if anybody's going to sit there and tell you we Israelites and we ain't got to do nothing, you're dead wrong, man. The scripture says give diligence to make your calling and election sure, all right? And this is going to be the place where the Lord's going to send them the nuclear missiles to destroy this place. But until then, we're going to prophesy about the downfall of all these kingdoms and all these rulers of this world. Being, being true and faithful servants of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Alright? Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Mm -hmm. And it reads, uh, Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, mm -hmm. where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Right, and this is the good way, man. And this is the, this is the, the path that we're walking in. And, and, you know, being a part of this thing of the Lord, we've been comforted so much to the point, even though we're in hell and we're, we're, we're fighting that good fight of faith and we're enduring the shit that we have to endure on a daily basis. You know, at the end of the day, we've been comforted because we now know and understand that the Lord is coming for us. And, and, and having that mindset, you can rest, you know, there are times where you can rest easy at night knowing that the Lord is on his way to come get us. You know, men who find themselves tossing and turning and to and fro and, 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 and wrestling around and not being settled in the spirit, you know, you, you found yourself in a position where your, 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 your mindset has now, you know, the spirit has now left you in doubt. We have no doubt being in this thing. There's no doubt whatsoever that we know that the Lord is coming back. And hopefully, Lord willing, we are part of that, 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 that uh, uh, election. Okay? Anybody got anything else? Like yeah, go, it's a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they say, we will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you, right. saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Right. And, and, and again, the scriptures speak about whether they hear, whether they forbid. All right? It doesn't matter if they're going to take our word or hear our word or, or take heed or take warning. It doesn't matter to us. Because as long as the word has gone out from us to you, whether you believe it or not, that's on you. But we're gonna we're gonna rest assured, and know that our your blood has been washed off of our hands. Okay, so therefore we're gonna come out and push the word, whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter, because when Yahweh Shai comes to inquire, he ain't gonna be sitting there, you know, accepting everybody because they they denied his word. He's looking for faithful servants, faithful and true servants, who are gonna who are gonna follow order, who are gonna understand the order. Okay. I got one other. He said, um, Second Ezra, chapter 16, mm -hmm. verse 73. Then shall it be known who are my chosen, mm -hmm. and, this, and this shall be tried as a gold and a fire. Mm -hmm. Hear, O ye, my beloved, says the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Right, the days of trouble are at hand. And we can't stress enough, man, 
how much trouble is on the horizon. There's so much trouble the scriptures speak about. Not since a man was placed on the planet, there's going to be all kinds of trouble, man. And again, you got to let people know that this is what's coming. The Lord is a terrible power, man. He is a terrible power. And to just think that he's not going to stretch his arm out upon the whole world and, and do some damage. You know, we look at Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shai said the servant is not greater than his master. So how in the hell do we expect not to be touched, so to say? And Yahweh Shai had, it got, it got pierced, it got plaited with a crown of thorns, you know, and you, got, you know, whatever they did to Yahweh Shai, you know, beat him, whatever they did to him. You know, that movie, The Passion of the Christ, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it. You know, there's just something in me that just, I don't know. But anyway, from what the brothers are telling me, the way they did the Lord in that movie, you know, can he, I mean, the Lord said he's going to preserve that. Give me that, Elder. The Lord said he's going to preserve that body. Oh, uh, yeah. Zechariah. Right. You know, the Lord is going to preserve that body for us to see. And when we see it, we're going to be, we're going to be, in, in, we're very sorrowful, man. But these are the things that we must understand. We're not greater than Yahweh Shai. If the Heavenly Father bruised his own son, how much more are we being, you know, servants in our righteousness and our filthy rags? We're going to go through some shit, man. Excuse my language. We're going to go through it, man. You got it? Yeah, this is uh, Zechariah 12 and 10. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace mm -hmm. and of supplications. Mm -hmm. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, mm -hmm. and they shall mourn for him mm -hmm. as one mourneth for his only son. Right. We're going to look upon him whom they have pierced, and we're going to mourn. Why? Because the Lord is going to preserve that body for us to see. If, if I could say something, mm -hmm. um, you, you mentioned the movie The Passion of the Christ. I, I did see the movie. It, it gives you a, uh, how do I say, a, a visual perspective of, of what happened. Granted, it's a... Uh, uh, I think they, I think the dude that plays him is a Jake, but um, you know, they, of course they they, they maintain that uh, so-called white image. But uh, what I what I mean when I say a visual perspective, um, you when you read about something, um, if you don't have uh, uh, the the ability to kind of dive into it and, and and bring the reality to it, some people don't have quite the imagination when they're reading. Um, but it, this this kind of adds that imagination and adds that uh, what it what it looked like um, when he was being uh, bruised in those last days. Um, you know he was he was he was thronged right. He was like the elder said he, he had that 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 crown of thorns on his head. So he he was essentially before he even got to the place of his uh, crucifixion was was bleeding massively, right? And I think I think. Um, sometimes you, you forget, right, that that he went through that. And he went through that so that we could have the opportunity uh, for salvation. So we could have the, the opportunity for mercy and, and, and grace. He was he was uh, hung on that cross, mm -hmm. right? And it's not a it's not a thing that should be uh, taken lightly, right? And so when you when you have uh, days like this where we're, we're getting ready to have the Passover service. These days should be solemn, right? And what should put you in that solemn state of mind is thinking about what the Lord. Had. Let's let's go to um if I if I can go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. um Isaiah fifty three. Mm -hmm. Somebody go to Isaiah. You got it. Yeah, yeah. hit me, bro. You want to start at the top? Uh, yeah, yeah you can start. You can, you can start at the top. Come to Isaiah fifty three and one. Yeah, it says, "Who have believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed?" Mm -hmm. It says, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant mm -hmm. and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form of, he had no form nor comeliness. And when he, when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we shall desire. Him. Right, right. So beauty, beauty, because, you know, you don't, you don't know, I was going to say many people, but you don't know anybody that would take the death that he took for, uh, for his, for his people, for his nation. I don't. I don't know many people that'll do that, or any person that would do that, right? And so you gotta, you gotta remember that. You gotta be put in the mind. Uh, the mindset is that somebody died for you, and you got certain people. Um, I'll say, I'll say, people in general that that play around 
with the truth and they forget about that one thing. That there was somebody who laid down his life so that you can have grace and mercy. There was somebody who laid down their life so that you can have a chance for salvation. We can't forget that. Go ahead, bro. Verse 3, it says, He is despised and rejected of men, mm -hmm. a man of sorrows, mm -hmm. and acquainted with grief. And we hid as if it were we hid as if it were our faces from him. Right. So you had you had those of uh, the nation of Israel who they shunned him. Mm -hmm. Right? This here, here it was, this man was getting ready to die. Uh, so so they can be reconciled back to the Heavenly Father, right? And they, they shun the man, get out of there. Ain't you uh, Joseph's son, right? They they marginalized his existence, right? They 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 shunned him, right? They talked shit about him. They, they made attempts at his life, right? Go ahead, keep going. Mm -hmm. It says he was despised, mm -hmm. and we esteemed him not. Mm -hmm. Surely he had borne our griefs, and carry our sorrows. Right. He had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, man. Right? We 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 as a nation did a treacherous thing in in uh, uh breaking the law, statutes, commandments, breaking the agreement with the with the Heavenly Father, right? That was a it was a it was a horrible thing, but he he carried that on himself when he was up there on that cross. So that I was um now I'll mention it now, I'll probably still do it, but um there was a guy, I was watching this video I came across, and this guy said, uh, his, his question was valid. His question was, who was the Lord talking to when he was on the cross, right? When he said, Eli, Eli, Sabbath. Think about that. He said, who was the Lord talking to? And and the, the preacher pretty much told the dude, he's like, yeah, have, have a little bit of faith, right? Because in, in the Christian church, they say that the Lord Yahweh Shah and the Heavenly Father are the same, right? Uh, so he had, he, you know, he had asked, you know, who was he talking to? But, the, you know, the preacher was kind of like, you know, stop asking questions. This is, you know, just have a little bit of faith. Uh, keep read, read that last verse again. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, surely he had uh, borne our griefs right. and carry our sorrows. And so the second question was, um, why did he ask the father, why hast thou forsaken me? Um, and and he, 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 at that moment, the virtue that he had to heal, the virtue that he had to 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 cast out de uh, demons, the virtue that he had that when uh, the young lady uh, touched the hem of his garment, mm -hmm. that virtue that he had was taken from him so he can bear that grief. Mm -hmm. So all of, all of the, 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 the hell that the nation of Israel committed, he had to take it on him, mm -hmm. right? Which is, um, the, the Elder Yashawamba did a, a beautiful show about this uh, a few years back. When you have wine mingled with, or myrrh mingled with wine, or wine mingled with myrrh, I can't remember exactly how the scripture is worded, but um, it's in Mark if, if somebody could find it. Uh, when you, that is a, a, a narcotic of sorts, and it's used to ease the pain. I think it's in Proverbs 31, where um, what the woman would do, they would, they would, you know, when a man was on his deathbed or he was in, he was in uh, immense pain, they would give them that wine uh, mingled with myrrh. And so, um, when they offered it to him, he didn't take it because he 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 was going to endure all of that pain. He was going to endure all of that with uh, uh, the punishment that that was was to come to the nation of Israel for for their, the sins that they committed. Mm -hmm. Right. I got that for you. If you okay, want. hit me. Uh, Mark fifteen and twenty two. Yep. And they bring him into the place of. Uh, Golgotha, Golgotha, Golgotha mm -hmm. which is being interpreted the place of a skull. Mm -hmm. And they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, mm -hmm. but he received it not. Mm -hmm. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, cast casting right. lots upon them, and right. every man should take. Right. So they, they, you know, they took his garments. It was, you know, just tearing it to pieces. Because what, what do they remember? They remember when that young lady touched the, the hem of his garment mm -hmm. and was healed of that that issue of blood. They remember that. Right, so they were trying to take their piece, you know, their own little piece of the of the garment, so they can be healed, mm -hmm. right? And so we 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 forget about them. We we we're, we say, well, you know, I'm in the truth, you know, I'm, I've been in the truth this long, I've been in the truth that long, and we're out there on the highways and byways, and we're teaching and we're speaking, which are all good things, but we forget that look, we have the ability to do that because the Lord Yahweh Shai died for us. He died, so he laid down his life so that we wouldn't have to. Uh, suffer right so when we come to the time of the Passover like this and we ask 
in the name of Yahweh Shai to be passed over as these plagues uh, come to the world, that's a that's a heavy thing, man. That's not a light thing. That's not a light thing. We're asking the Heavenly Father to pass over us, right, in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, right? And we we put the blood on the on the doorpost as a, a, a force of the, the the example. The the lamb has shed the blood, but who's the lamb? The lamb is the Lord Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So that's the protection. Mm -hmm. That's the protection from the Passover, right? Mm -hmm. That's the protection that's going to keep us safe. Uh, somebody get uh, Jeremiah uh, 30 and 7. Excuse me. Jeremiah 30. When the Lord passes over, he sees the blood on that doorpost mm -hmm. and actually passes over that mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. And that was that was Zimla, man. It was, a, it was an example because we were going to be in Egypt again. And that's where we are now. We're in Egypt right now. And now, instead of the blood being the, that of a lamb or a goat, right? It's now the blood of the Lord Yahweh Shai that we're sprinkling on, on the doorposts, right? Sprinkling it on the doorposts of your of your heart, your lob, right? Uh, somebody got that in Jeremiah? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, right? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 30 and 7. He says, Alas, alas, for that day is great, yeah. so that none is like it. Mm -hmm. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, and so this has been dubbed the year uh, of Jacob's trouble, right? And, you know, there, there are a lot of things that are coming to pass. This, the stage is being set, right? For those of you who are, who are chess players, right? Sometimes you can set up your, your, your game four or five moves in advance. And once your, the stage is set, you can now start striking, right? And that's what's happening right now. The stages are being set. You got uh, uh, Russia doing all kinds of things. You got uh, the North Africans doing all sorts of things. Um, uh, there's, there's a bunch of action going on uh, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. There's a bunch of action going on, right? And so uh, not only that action, but also the hour of temptation that we're going to have to be put through when it comes to uh, the, the, the CHIP or the MOTB, when it comes to that, right? And that comes here to America, and people are, are losing their minds because they can't get into stores. They're losing their minds because they're not a part of the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. People are going to go crazy. We're going to need protection from that, mm -hmm. right? When you go to, I think it's uh, Matthew 5, uh, what they call the uh, uh, Beatitudes or the Beatitudes. Um, it says, uh, let's go to that. Let's go to that. Somebody get uh, Matthew 5 and 1. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. Yeah. And seeing the multitude, he went up into the mountain. And when he was set, the disciple came unto him. Mm -hmm. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, yep. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yep. Blessed are they that mourn, for yep. they shall be comforted. Yep. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yep. Blessed are the meek, <coughs> for they shall inherit the earth. So there's, there's a, that's, a, that's a tool, right? Being meek is, is a tool. It's something that you can learn and, and use to your advantage, right? You be meek, uh, so in, in times of need, the Lord will bless you. And I always, I always say that. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not partaking in any revenge. If the Lord is going to bless me, I want all my blessings. You know? Go ahead, bro. He says, Bless all they which do hunger and mm -hmm. thirst after righteousness, mm -hmm. for they should be filled. Yep. Bless all the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yep. Bless all the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Yep. Bless all the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Bless all they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, mm -hmm. for there is the kingdom of heaven. Right. So we we we're not we're in those positions. We want to be in those positions as this this Passover is happening. Mm -hmm. Being meek, being lowly, uh, preparing yourself mentally, right? Being in uh, deep, deep, immensely in, in prayer, right? All of those things right. matter, right? You know, and, and making your body a living mm -hmm. sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, giving up what you what you feel, what you want, giving all that up. Yeah. Yahweh Shai. Let me let me let me get this real quick. Mm -hmm. This is Romans, uh, Romans chapter five, verse five, uh, six and seven. Mm -hmm. It says, "For when we were yet without strength, in due time Yahweh Shai died oh, for word. the ungodly." Mm -hmm. Verse seven. Yeah. For scarcely for a righteous man yeah. will one die, yeah. yet peradventure for a good man yeah. some would dare to die. Yeah. Go keep on. For a good man, one would some would dare to die. Yeah. But the Most High commanded His love toward us, right. in that while we were yet sinners, right. Yahweh Shai died right. for so, us. So you got you got for for a really really good person, somebody might you know offer up their life. Right, right, right. For you know even someone who is partially good, right. someone might offer up their life. Right. But the Lord Yahweh Shai offered up His life to a bunch of reprobates and, and sinners, man. 
Yeah. We were a nation of sinners. When you go to Ezekiel the fifth chapter, it tells you that we turned his uh, righteousness uh, into filthy. Uh, I'm not. It doesn't say filthy rags. Um, but we. But in other words, we were more wicked than even the nations were. You know. And so, in the, and in in that state, and in that condition, the Lord still died for us, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Seven now. Seven. Yeah. All right. So what was we reading? I was reading Matthew chapter five. Yes, that, we we good there. What you what you got? You got something? Uh, just real quick, uh, John 15 and uh, 13. Yep. This is in the NIV. Yep. Greater love has no mm -hmm. one than this yep. to lay down one's yep. life for yep. one friend. Yep. And so as we as we again again um, embark on this Passover, that blood that we're that we're spreading on that door, mm -hmm. that's the blood of your Lord Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. He on. laid down his life for us, and we got to keep that in mind right. as we as we you know push through to the end of this thing. Uh, we got to keep that in mind that right. you know he did it first. Right. right. So with that, you know, we give all praises to Yahweh Shem Double honor to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone. Honor and salutations to the elect. And with that we say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.